How's it going, fellow Detroit Rivers fans? So it's December, Christmas is coming up, New Year's is coming up. That also means for fans of most NHL teams, they will be able to see their top prospects and sometimes later round selections play in the annual World Junior Championship, going on from Sunday, December 26th to Wednesday, January 5th. They will be hosted in Edmonton and Red Deer, Canada, with teams from 10 countries, Group A having Canada, Finland, Germany, Czech Republic, and Austria. And then Group B has United States, Russia, Sweden, Slovakia, Switzerland. There are plenty of roster spots available, lots of prospects drafted and undrafted. But before we get too far into today's video, I want to give a shout out to King KFC. We hit the 1,000 subscriber mark a little bit ago and want to start thank you guys for making the Rebbing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other wonderful Red Wing and hockey fans who are already subscribed to this great channel. So back to the World Junior Championships. Currently countries are having their respective camps, finding out what lines they want to run, what players they want slash need to ice the best team possible and hopefully take home gold for their country. And the Detroit Red Wings have amassed a lot of draft selections over the previous years. 31 in total over the three previous drafts. So naturally, we are going to have a lot of representation at the World Junior Championships, even though 2019 draft selections have aged out. Right now at all the camps currently, we have eight prospects with the possibility of nine playing in the World Junior Championships, depending on Lucas Raymond, since he is still young enough to play and well, we know he is good enough to play in the tournament. The question is more, does it make sense? I mean, yeah, if Raymond really wants a gold medal from the World Juniors, or if he was playing for Grand Rapids, that's one thing. But given the Red Wings' recent 5-game winning streak, something we haven't had since the 2018-19 season, and Raymond being the point leader for the team, it's highly unlikely he will join Team Sweden for the World Juniors. So that leaves us with 8 prospects. There's two I think that are absolute guarantees. One obviously being Simon Evitson. I mean, he is tied for first in U20 scoring in the SHL, and this is after having a little bit of a lull and an injury. So, needless to say, he will be Sweden's top defenseman. And then, of course, the other first round draft selection, Sebastian Kosa. Currently possessing a .924 save percentage, which isn't the best of his junior career, but it is good enough for second in the league. He obviously has the skills and should have the trust of Team Canada to be their starter, at least heading into the World Juniors. Donovan Sabrengo, the Grand Rapid Griffin, is also receiving an invite to Team Canada's World Junior Camp. Yes, he only has a minor 3 assist in 20 games played, but Sabrengo is more of a defensive defenseman considering he is still technically a junior eligible player, yet he is tied for 3rd in plus minus on the Griffins in the AHL, which is a men's league. I doubt Sabrengo would be their top D-man, especially with players like Owen Power on Canada's roster, but later in the game defending a lead, you won't have to worry about Sabrengo giving up a scoring chance nearly as much as other young defensemen that will be attending that camp. Heading over to the US camp, we have two players as well, Redmond Savage who is a strong center playing out of the NCAA with Miami, and then Carter Mazur who is currently just under a point per game pace with 12 points in 13 games played as a freshman with the University of Denver in the NCAA. Playing alongside Shea Boom, who really should have been invited to the camp, and Antti Tuomisto. My guess is Mazur should make the team. He is riding a hot streak and should provide solid depth scoring for Team USA. So going back to Europe, there is a team that will just have one lone Red Wing prospect. And like I've said before, he kinda has his own fan club. Emil Vero, the Finnish defenseman, is the only Red Wing prospect going to Finland's camp. And being he made the team last year, I would say he's borderline a guarantee. Only thing is, he only has 3 points in 25 games played in the Liga this year. He's obviously not on top of the world right now, but hopefully a good tournament can turn around a gloomy season for the young Finn. So that leaves us with only one country left, and two prospects to talk about. The country is, of course, Sweden. We talked about Lucas Raymond, who is most likely not going to play, and top defensive prospect Simon Edmondson, who will be their top line guy. 
but there's at least two more prospects that should be in the mix of things to get a roster spot. That is Theodore Niederback and William Wallander. Really, I feel like Liam Dower Nielsen should also get an invite as well, but let's focus on Niederback and Wallander. Wallander is really a no-brainer. He's big, highly skilled, in top five of U20 scoring in the SHL. Not to mention, it's a possibility we can see an Edvinson and Wallander defensive line. But unlikely since they are both left-handed, but that definitely doesn't mean it can't happen. And then of course you have Theodore Niederbeck. He isn't racking up the points with Frölunda, but he's also still a U20 player, currently tied for fourth in U20 scoring and did play at the World Juniors last year for Team Sweden. So it's likely, but not a guarantee. What do you guys think? Who is making their team? Who goes home with the gold? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful channel. And until next time, Lights on the Red Light District.